So today is day 638 in our 25 year project to build a car. Um, in our last episode, um, I did some welding, which I subsequently got completely roasted for in my main favorite restoration group. Um, welds are too cold, no penetration, they don't look good, they're not gonna hold, don't look good to me, where are some of the comments, which is fine. Um, I don't profess to be perfect. Um, I don't profess to have massive years of experience with welding, but I am trying. So with that in mind, I'm gonna do a couple of things in this episode. The first thing I'm gonna do is take some stock steel that I purchased at the local box store. I'm gonna cut it into pieces about six inches long, and then I'm gonna practice with my machine, dialing in the settings for different thicknesses of material. I have quarter inch, I have eighth inch, I have 12 gauge, and I have another piece which ran away from me at the moment. I'll be right back. This is uh, 3 16 So I have those different thicknesses of metals to kind of emulate some of the thicknesses I'm gonna be working with on the car. So today's uh, lesson is going to be in how to dial in your machine, which you don't have a lot of experience with, to get the best results on test material before we turn our attention back to the car to try to correct some of the things that we have, that may have done the first time around. So it is a learning process. For those of you who are not sure that they want to try this, I say give it a go, take it slow, step by step. Think about it a couple times before you do it. And if you don't get it right, you can always grind it back and start over. Let's give it a shot.
So that concludes welding in subframe connectors in only 400 steps and 23 corrections and 43 cover-ups. Um, I'm fairly certain that the secondary welds that I placed today both were hot enough to penetrate both the uh, layers of steel um, and were able to provide good solid structural strength on top of what was done last week. Um, I sprayed it with some primer and then some, let's see, Rust-Oleum uh, product just to keep any rust from getting in there until we get a chance to actually do the bottom side of the car. So we have completed and can check off subframe connectors from our master list. Yay! Um, next step is to get this flipped over and actually mounted to the body cart and then start mocking up the front end with the subframe connections and the assembly. Um, that should happen in the next couple of days, hopefully. So maybe by the end of Christmas day, we will see an actual, what something looks to be somewhat kind of, sort of, if you squint and tilt your head, it'll start looking like an actual car. So from Project 21F and Parts Unknown, it's on to the next adventure.